A popular patron of an Ionia County Library branch is facing eviction. It appears that Aw Kitty, the Lion Village Library's cat, is causing an allergic reaction to some of the library's human patrons. New at 7, Joe Lafergie has a look at the efforts to keep the library's popular mascot in her adopted home. Aw Kitty was a village stray until she wandered into the library here about two and a half years ago and made herself a home among the stacks. She helps out by welcoming people, letting people pet her. She always comes up to people and she's always just a really nice cat. The feline squatter doesn't cost taxpayers a cent. Donations to the collection jar pays for her food, vet visits and other costs. But these days, Aw Kitty is at the center of a, well, cat fight in Lyons. While Aw Kitty is a welcome distraction for some patrons of the village library, she's the source of sniffles and other allergic reactions for others. Supporters have come up with some alternatives. They have offered to have the person pre-order the book on the f on the phone, and when they get here, just take them take the book out to them. But the library's board of directors voted last month that the cat needs to find a new home. Can you see somebody's point, though, if they're allergic to a cat, why they may be concerned with this? I can see the point of it, but at the same time, it's not fair to the whole community. Cause the move has turned 15-year-old Katie Chambers into a political activist. She's launched a petition drive at change.org, urging the board to reverse their decision at this Thursday's meeting. Over 1,200 people have signed the petition. If that many people care for this cat, or not... Now maybe a couple people shouldn't ruin that for the whole community. But at least one board member says the number of people complaining isn't the point. Marilyn Hewn told 24 Auburn News 8 that when the board first allowed the cat to stay, they did so with a condition the public would accept her. But those with allergies now have limited access to the library. And Hewn says everyone should have access. So it appears all Kitty will have to find a new home. I don't see why she just can't stay. Meeting to decide her fate is set for Thursday. We'll let you know what happens. In Lyons, Joe Lafergie, 24 Hour News 8.